make sure you guys subscribe and like this video. Why? Because. So we're going to do something a little different with this video. So instead of talking about the usual sports, anime, music, we're going to do sneaker reviews. Now, the reason why I want to start deep diving into sneaker reviews is because there are times where you may not know how a certain shoe fits, or there are times where certain shoes you just can't get at the store. So in order for you to know how they fit, you have to do your YouTube research. At least that's what I do. Um, if there's a certain shoe that I want, I go on YouTube, I search for it, see how they fit, see if they fit true to size, see if I have to go up, up half a size, see if I have to go down a half a size, up a full size, down a full size, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. So first and foremost, let me thank my brother, Anthony Terranova, for getting me these shoes, if you want to call it that, during my birthday. Um, it was it was a gift from him to me, so I appreciate you, bro. And yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to review the Yeezy Pods. Now, the reason why I want to review this is because if you want to call it a shoe, it's really a sock. But before we get into all that, like I said, make sure you subscribe and like this video. So let's get into it. So the reason why I want to review this shoe is because these have been my go-to sneakers or socks for the past two weeks, and I've been wearing the hell out of them. As far as comfort level goes, eh, they're decent, but they're just so damn convenient, right? So the upper, you have a sock-like upper, and then on the bottom, you have a sole. You have a pod here, pod here, and in between them, them two pods, you have, I would say, kind of like a plastic plate. The reason being, I think, is because... Say if you are, you know, walking on a curb and, you know, there may be rocks or if you're walking down a driveway and the driveway may have rocks in the driveway, this would help not penetrate your foot and destroy. It. Or if you're like me and have three kids and you have Legos laying on the floor, this would help, you know, hopefully help you. <laughs> um, as far as the sizing goes, it's really not much to say. Uh, so for the sizing, you have three sizes. You have one dot, which is weird, two dots and three dots. The one dot indicates a size if you're a four to seven, a two dot indicates if you're a size eight to 12, I'm, I'm sorry, eight to 11. And the three dot indicates if you're, uh, 12 and up. So as you can see, I will put a visual cause I don't know if you can even like really see this, but we are rocking a two dot. And I am a size nine. So a two dot, like I said, indicates sizes eight to 11. And I would say as far as these fit, they fit, they definitely fit true to size. So um, getting a two dot was definitely, was definitely the move. Uh, like I said, I'm a guy that wears sweatpants and a t-shirt. So me wearing these, they're just so convenient. They look good. When, they look good with sweatpants, in my opinion. It's really just a fucking long sock with a sole and they look really good with sweatpants. Um, as far as shorts, I'm not hundred percent sure I lift. So when I was squatting, I was actually wearing these, by the way, these are actually very good for squatting and benching. I'm not hundred percent sure if they're good for deadlifts. I would definitely have to try, but I would definitely let you know. Um, but I was wearing these for squats. They're really good. I had on shorts, but I also had on knee sleeves. So it kind of like blended in so it didn't look as, you know, it didn't look too weird. It actually looked pretty cool. Um, but if I was to wear these out and about, I don't necessarily know how they would look with just like, you know, shorts. I think it'll look probably a little weird. I mean, you could roll them down. You know what I mean? You could definitely roll them down. But even then, I feel like they'll still look kind of weird. Um, so, yeah. But with sweatpants, like I said, I'm a T-shirt sweatpants type of guy. I think, you know, it looks pretty cool with sweatpants and a t-shirt um what else what else can I say about this shoe because <laughs> there's really not much to say about it uh I saw that these were actually they were actually selling these for $200 at one time which if it was up to me would I pay $200 for these shoes hell no but they wind up bringing the price down to $20 would I buy these for $20 absolutely I mean, $20 is really not a lot of money compared to, you know, $200, which is absolutely insane. I feel like this is definitely not a $200 shoe. Uh, you're not really getting much. I feel like you could probably make this shoe if you really wanted to by just grabbing a sock, 
grabbing a sole and then cutting the sole in half and just putting a pod for your heels and a pod for your, you know, your, 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 your forefront of your foot. Um, so there's really not much to say about this shoe besides they're just convenient and they're black. So they match with literally any and everything. Um, as far as wearing jeans with them, I don't know. I don't wear jeans. So, <laughs> so I couldn't let you know if they will look good with jeans. Um, I assume so. Probably if you, you know, have like fitted jeans or even skinny jeans, I think they'll probably look, you know, pretty damn good. Um, so yeah, there's really not much to say about these shoes, but Thank you, Anthony Terranova. I've been wearing the shit out of them. Um, I have Yeezy 350 V2s, and I actually put the the insoles of my V2s in the in here. Um, if it was up to me, I wouldn't. I mean, you can put insoles in here because the insole that they have in here it's not really it's not really much. Plus, you can't take this insole out. Um, it's it's literally just like like stuck to like the shoe itself so you can't take this insole out but I have put an insole in here and it is kind of weird because at that point it feels like you're hovering over the shoe because I feel as if when you have them insoles in here it makes it a bit more difficult for your for it to like grab your foot because your foot really sits in these you know this this sole right here it, your foot really sits in in the sole, if that makes sense, even like in the heel, how, how it's kind of, you know, overlapping it, your foot, your heel, it sits in here. So putting insoles in here, it kind of feels like you're hovering over, you know, the, sh the, the shoe itself. So I wouldn't really recommend it, but Hey, if you want to do it, then do it. I wouldn't really recommend it. Like I said, the comfort fit, I mean, it is what it is. Um, it's nothing to brag about. They're just very convenient to just throw on. And like I said, they're black. So they match with any and everything. Um, so with that being said, yeah, that's it. I probably do a little bit of, um, you know, camera roll of just me, you know, walking in them and then we'll end out the video there. But like I said, we have more shoes on the way. Like I said, the reason why I wanted to do this is because there are times where we just don't know if a certain shoe is going to fit, um, or if it's a certain shoe that, you know, you can't buy at the mall, Foot Locker, so on and so forth. There's a lot, like... I've done my research many a times, going on YouTube, typing in the shoe, listening to a YouTuber like myself, um, figure out if that shoe is going to fit. So I feel like, yeah, we're going to deep dive into reviewing sneakers. And I have a, a lot. I have a lot of Jordans that I have yet to wear because I don't really go out much, you know. So I feel like this will be a perfect time to just start wearing sneakers again, you know, especially my good ones that I don't really wear at all and give you guys an insight, give you guys a review of what I think about that specific shoe. So I think this should be really fun for sure. So like I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe at the bottom. And we're just going to roll. And um, and I guess I'll just show you guys, show myself walking in them. So like I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. We got more coming, baby. Let's go. Look, so I don't know if there's any reviews for using easy pods in the gym, especially if you're a power lifter. Um, but I would have to say that at least for bench, I would have to try squats and deadlifts, but at least for bench, I know that there's power lifting shoes for, I don't know, it may range from $90 to like, I don't know, 120, 150, I'm not hundred percent sure. But for the price of 20 bucks for these easy pods, I would say for bench pressing, I say these are definitely A1 for sure. It's as close as a sock is gonna get. And of course, there's really not much of a sole. I think the only problem with maybe if I do, um, you know, squats and deadlifts, my foot might move a little because it's really like this material, like sock material. So I'd have to see, but for bench, these are definitely A1 for the price of $20.